Welcome back. This is uh, more of the Oil Rogue run at the end of the season. I'm intending, I've kind of gone all in and uh, finally crafted my first uh, legendary, Blood Mage Thalnos. Uh, I am running a deck that is very similar to Mr. Yutes, except uh, in place of Dr. Boom, I, Dr. Boom, I have a Faceless Manipulator because I don't have Dr. Boom. Hopefully that'll be the next thing I craft. But in the meantime, let's just get going. Uh, right now, doing three and one. Uh, my loss was to a paladin that I got very greedy on. I let him build up a board, and it totally screwed me when he played Lothep. And for those who don't know, Lotheb is uh, when it's played out in the field, uh, your opponent can't play. Uh, opponent's spells cost five more the next turn. So clearly, with a rogue, it completely screws me. Now this hand is. Really good, so I'm gonna keep that all. The Violet Teacher obviously benefiting off the zero cost spells. Well, any spells, but zero cost spells are perfect. So when it comes out, I can just uh, fill the board. Um, this is going. To, I don't know what kind of mage I'm playing against. I'm going to guess it's a freeze mage or tempo mage. Here we go. But I don't know, so uh, that's going to determine how how I should be playing this. If it's a freeze mage, I'm gonna want to try to go faster-ish. Uh, but if it's not, like it's a mech mage or something, then totally different game. This is gonna duplicate whatever minion I put out, probably. Here we go. Uh, so I may not want to put out the Violet Teacher immediately, unless I've got a way of clearing it. I think I'm going to hold off one turn so I can kill it off instantly. This is begging to be attacked, though. Uh, the interesting way of doing this would be to so to hit the Violet Teacher options. and immediately double down on stuff. But I think uh, it makes more sense to wait Here we go. and see what my opponent does. I'd rather have like the Earthen Ring farce here be copied than anything else. We're gonna have to give it a go eventually, right? By the teacher. Attention, class. Oh no, surprising. Attention, class. Not really that surprising. Um, we are going to backstab. Yep. I'm just thinking in my head, making sure this is the right move. I'm ready to learn. Also, get rid of that by the teacher. Okay, duplicate. No, I turned into a sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna push the advantage. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to shall do as you shall do as you say. I do need to be careful though, because turn seven's coming up. And I need to be careful of the flame strike. Kind of important to consider. Cool part is I'll be able to just sprint naturally and it should work out anyways. Ah, uh, don't get that much of an advantage for it. All right, that's fine. I'll show them. I'll show them all. It's not really that much point clearing the mad scientist, so I'm just gonna go for the sprint and see what I can get going. 
Okay. Attack. 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 I'm not pulling oils. Here we go. Which is really annoying, but whatever. I'm in a decent position right now. The good part is having the eviscerates, which will help me finish up the damage. Getting rid of a flame strike, that's fine too. Again, the, the mad scientist doesn't really deal that much damage, so I'm not that worried about it. Can just deal with it and move on. And if he puts out a big minion, there they go, faceless manipulator. So let's bust this out. Get the heelsies on. What I really need is a boost for the attack here. Deadly poison would be really nice about now. Don't really have much else. I could go for the backstab. We'll do the backstab. It's probably unnecessary to do that, but um, I'm seeing I push the advantage a little bit in the sense that now I've got board and so forces the mage to respond. What? I almost feel like being kind of dumb and copying it. Hmm. Or I could just return it back to its hand. It's tricky. A little bit tricky. I'm still missing mm. the cards that I need, so let's go with the... I'm Definitely gonna attack base. I'm gonna throw the fan and ice here just to cycle two cards. And we're going to... this right. Here we go. Just gonna put in the damage right now. Ah, okay. Now, the ice is gonna be a little bit tough to deal with. But I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that right now, but I'm also being uh, greedy. So, we're gonna go copy. Copy this guy. Hide behind this wall. What? Why is he not a 7-6? That's not a bug, I don't know what a bug is. That is so not cool. Shouldn't that have been a 7-6? I don't know how that works out. Pay attention, class. Surprisingly, I'm not really that worried about that many minions. Uh, I'm more worried if I can't get a good attack off next turn. Okay, that's fine. Actually, not that big a deal. There we go. That is what I needed. So 
So let's do this. We're going to slow him down with the Lotheb. I'm going to put out the Deadly Poison. We are going to get the attack in on this guy because he'll grow. Here we go. Blade Flurry. You can duplicate your minion, that's fine. And I'm going to stack the damage. And I still have the sprint going for me. Cross my finger those and I actually draw an oil for crying out loud. Please? Please? Still have a preparation in the deck too, so I should have a pretty good chance right now. What no, to what do? a coffee. What to do? What? The deck is a little bit janky. No, I shouldn't judge. I mean, my deck was janky just a second ago, so. Whatever, that's fine. Draw four more cards. If I draw preparation, then I'm totally in business. Actually, I'm already in business. I got the industry. Yes! That deck was a little bit different. It was... It was different. It was kind of an amalgamation of a bunch of different cards. Cool! Let's keep it going! So, doing pretty good so far with Oil Rogue. Should be pretty happy with that. Valera versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Watch your back. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Uh, going with the hunter. I actually need to get some good attack in here, but preparation is something you really don't want to get loose, so I'm going to keep it and hope that I hit some minions. Cross my fingers! Okay, Deadly Poison will help. Deadly Poison will help. Oh, and the Blade Flurry will help too. Cool. Let's go. Playing the coin already. Oh, interesting. This is a different version of Hunter. Good for me, because I got a free kill. If I can hold out for the Violet Teacher being played on turn four, and I get to play it against a decent board, that'll be really helpful. What? Okay. I was like, wait, is he going to do something or not? Oh, nope, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. So let's do nothing. Here we go. So again, you'll notice this deck plays a little bit differently. Somebody was to go, why wouldn't you backstab the the um, Haunted Creeper here? I should know the name of that. Uh, because I'm playing this slower and I want to try to develop something. Uh, so, I'm in a slightly bad position with with what's happening right now, but that's okay, because I can just bust this out, and now suddenly I'm getting a really good advantage off this. I'm also getting rid of this because it's the beast, so I don't want him to get the, the free um, five damage spell in. Here we go. No, the silence. Okay. Manageable. Ah, the Savannah High Main. Dun dun dun. Okay, going for face. Kind of expected. That's fine. Here we go. Oh, didn't go for the Savannah. Interesting. I'll have to see why he did that. 
Not that I care too much. I'm already in a good position. So now I get to push the advantage. Pay attention, class. Now there's two ways of handling this. I could backstab and push one damage in myself, or I could be safer and just kill off my own minion and, and attack normally. I'm going to be a little bit safer because I don't want to lose easy wins. We're going to hang on for that deadly poison to do its work. Uh, Sap actually would have been a pretty good play there, too. I'll agree with you that. There. All right. Don't have the... Yep, I think Sap actually would have been a really good choice there. Go for the heelsies. Deal some damage. Uh, I don't think there's a point in eviscerating yet, so I'm just going to hold up. Oh no, I lost all my secrets. <laughs> I shall do as you say. Okay, cool. Oh! I'm gonna boost up my weapon some more. Hopefully he doesn't like, suddenly run a Harrison Jones. Harrison Jones will take the durability of your weapon and they get to draw cards based on that. So not only do they destroy your weapon, but they draw cards. Yeah, don't want that to happen. Okay, now this is the fun part. I would like your Savannah High main. And then I like the step your card. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I'm actually pretty close to having a uh, lethal or semi lethal. I'm gonna push a little bit of damage in. Reason why here is we've got the five damage here that I can attack. I can then also hit the. Um, I can do the blade flurry for another five damage. I've got the Zordrake to help me out, and an Eviscerate, yeah. They already know they're dead. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Sorry, dude. Got the bonus star! 5-1. So I don't know if that was a misplay. I mean, maybe I was saving it for the Savannah High main that I knew was in the hand. Yeah, I'm not so sure. We'll see. All right, we are going to make this 5-1. And keep it going. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. I don't know if I need the the blade flurry so much, but with a deadly po poison, it makes sense to hang on to it. So I'm gonna hang on to it. Truthfully, I don't know how to handle the mage, but then I think it, it really depends because I'm, if I suddenly hit a mech mage, then I'm gonna definitely want those deadly, that deadly poison. But if I don't, and I'm hitting a slow mage, then I probably wanted more minions. What do they do? Let's see what happens. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a, pick a card. Yeah, just any one of those cards. Hey. Hmm. Someday I'll be just like you. Sorcerer's apprentice. Okay. No point, no point for the Blood Mage. You could just attack regularly. Here Let's do that. Go. Take a little bit of damage in the beginning, but uh, I don't really know. 
don't have a way of activating the agent just yet, so. That's annoying. <laughs> that is really annoying. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna take a little extra damage right now. Uh oh. I'm seeing differing opinions <laughs> in Twitch stream. Uh, the, the reason why I'm attacking is I'm not expecting to play something on turn what three either. Do? So that was what more of a, do? if nothing else happened, I had a, I had a chance of killing it off for free and then re-upping my weapon. Um, but then agreeably, I am going to take a lot of, a lot of damage for that. So definitely debatable. The good part is this kind of works out for me, so not such a big deal. So let's do this. Since I'm at an event, oh, that would have been nice too. Almost mm. makes sense to wait one more turn for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's just do it. Ah, this guy's toast. And we will wait. Trying to be patient. This is going to do enough damage to, to clear the board, so... Oh, that works out so well. Alright, so now we can put the Blood Mage. You can do the Phantom Knives. The cut purse. Oh, <laughs> that got me, man. <laughs> He's gonna use a rogue weapon against me. I wonder. There is a chance to turn this around. Wow, that's that's a hard counter right there. So how do I handle this? I think the answer here is going to be blade flurry. Question is, I yeah, but I have to do it afterwards, which kind of stinks. Just one more, man, one more. That's fine. We're gonna attack. Late flurry. Pay attention, class. He plays a coin to do one extra damage. I'm guessing that means fireball, so. Let's get Lotheb out. Hmm. 
debating how to handle this. So Actually, I need the heal too. Options. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna heal here. Deal my two damage. I'm ready. Weapon up. This will be. This will buy me some time, hopefully. Okay. Give me a chance. This will give me a chance. I've got board control. We'll see whether that lasts, though, because the other issue is that there could be a flame strike coming up. Flame strike? No! That is going to give me a really good chance now. If this hits right, this is going to hurt him badly. Yep. Low flip to slow him down. Tinker Sharp Sword. Allows me to clean up the tough minions. And now, as a mage, what are you going to do? That's tough. There's no more flame strike for you. Uh, you pretty much have fireball left. Nope. Now you don't have a fireball. You're toasted. Bust this out. Hit the attack on face. Oh, this is even better. Blade flurry. This rage. Dick is behind. Yes! Keep it going. This is working out really well. Almost too well. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick pause for a second and then come right back. Uh, and this is just more for cutting for YouTube videos, so uh, be right back. <laughs> 